Hello subscriber and viewer. In today's tutorial, we are going to discuss about the spinner in Android. And on spinner, I am going to upload total 4 tutorials. So I hope you will see all the 4 tutorial of spinner for your better understanding. So in this tutorial, I will tell you what exactly spinner and then I will tell you how you can add element to spinner through XML. So first we will see what is spinner. So spinner exactly look like this. It look like just like the text view or you can say text box component. And it's a drop down list. Means if you click on here, if you click on the spinner, means if you click on India, then other list will pop up, other uh, list will be added. Like here India, USA, China, these are the country name. Means if you click here, the other options will get open. And suppose if you select China, then China will be added inside the text view component. So it is nothing but drop down list and the selected atoms will be added in the text box. Okay. So in this way, the spinner work. In spinner, we add bunch of atom. So whenever we need to add bunch of atom and out of that all atom, we need to select particular one, then we use spinner. So in this tutorial, we will see how you can add the elements in spinner. Okay. So first you should add spinner in your Android application. And once you add the spinner, this code will be added. And here the two tags are important for formatting spinner. One is background. It will represent background color to the spinner like that. Second one pop-up background means it will represent color to the pop-up background area means this is the other additional elements it comes when you click on the spinner so it will give color to that background area of spinner by using which attribute pop-up background so this coding is required for creating the spinner and after that you have to simply go in string array for adding the element because spinner is nothing but collections of element and for adding this element, we need the string array. So there are actually two way to add the element, two basic way. First one is by using XML string array and second one is by using Java. In Java, you have to declare string array. So in this tutorial, we will see how you can add the element through XML array. So here you have to mention the string array, the string array is nothing but here student and for adding the atoms you have to write atom tag like India, USA, China like that. Then here closing of string array. So this file is nothing but it is present in value and string.xml. You just double click here and you add this bunch of code. So here we have added around six elements and after that in your activity file you simply create the spinner object. And this statement is important that is nothing but array adapter. So what exactly array adapter that we are discussing now. So first for putting data in the spinner we need data source. So as you are beginner I assume you are the beginner. So there are the two main way to add the data in spinner. First one is through XML by using string array. And the second one is through Java by using Java means you have to declare the array in the activity class. So in this tutorial we are discussing how you can upload the element from string array through XML file. So here the array adapter is used to access the data from data source. It can be string array means the array can be present in the XML file or in the Java file. So here the array adapter work is to simply access the data from data source and it will upload that data in the spinner. It simply create the view from the for the spinner means that spinner data is added through the array adapter class. So here the code will be like that array adapter object then array adapter dot create from resource. So here we are adding the elements from string array. Okay, that's why here your statement is here your method is create from resource. This represents your activity class current activity r.array.student. It is nothing but your string array. 
here we declare student then here r dot layout dot sorry r dot layout support simple spinner drop down atom means it represent the view like that and finally uh, this is nothing but spinner object set adapter this is adapter object so it will simply add the elements to your spinner then after that you can do the event handling just you select on atom selected listener and after that these two methods will be added then this method is important on atom selected so in on atom selected you simply create the object of text view okay because we are accessing or we are showing the element which is present inside the text view so for that you should write the statement text view object and here view and here we have to do casting text view and then you use the toast statement that you are already aware you selected here my is nothing but the object of here text view get text means it will return the text of selected atom and that text is coming from this side means whatever the selected atom is there that message will come here means you will get the message you selected china suppose china is selected so in this way you have to do the coding so how to do the coding exactly so in the next tutorial in android studio we will do the program and in that program we will see how you can access the element from xml file means you have to create the string array so everything we are going to see in the next tutorial so don't forget to see my next tutorial thank you